this is Teacher Phoebe and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to add and subtract decimal numbers. For us to add or subtract decimal numbers, here are the steps to follow. First, write the decimals in column form. Remember to align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. Second, add or subtract the digits belonging to the same decimal place. And lastly, write the decimal point in the sum or difference. Let us get the sum or difference of the following decimal numbers. Find the sum of 2 and 34 hundredths and 1 and 22 hundredths. Let us do the step 1. Write the decimals in column form. Align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. Step 2. Add the digits belonging to the same decimal place. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. For our step 3, write the decimal point in the sum. Therefore, if you're going to add 2 and 34 hundredths and 1 and 22 hundredths, the sum is 3 and 56 hundredths. Let's try another example. Let's add 4 and 59 hundredths and 3 and 697 thousandths. Step 1. Write the decimals in column form. Remember to align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. In this example, we can add a zero to the thousands place value so that the decimal numbers have the same length. Step 2. Let us add the digits belonging to the same decimal place. 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. Bring down 8, carry 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 12. Bring down 2, carry 1. 1 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 8. For the third step, let's write the decimal point in the sum. Therefore, if we're going to add 4 and 590,000 to 3 and 697,000, the sum is 8 and 287,000. For the third example, we have 9 and 6600 minus 6 and 3200. Step 1. Write the decimals in column form. Align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. Step 2. Subtract the digits belonging to the same decimal place. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. And for the last step, write the decimal point in the difference. Therefore, if you're going to subtract 6 and 32 hundredths from 9 and 66 hundredths, the answer is 3 and 34 hundredths. And for the last example, let us subtract 4 and 192 thousandths from 26 and 59 hundredths. Step 1. Write the decimal place in column form. Don't forget to align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. For this example, we are going to write 0 on the thousands place value so that the decimal numbers have the same length. Step 2. Subtract the digits belonging to the same decimal place. 0 minus 2 is cannot be. We are going to borrow 1 from 9, 9 will become 8, and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 9 is cannot be. We are going to borrow 1 from 5. 5 will become 4 and 8 will become 18. 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. 4 minus 1 is equal to 
3. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. We are going to bring down 2. For the last step, we are going to write the decimal point in the difference. Therefore, if we are going to subtract 4 and 192 thousandths from 26 and 590 thousandths, the answer is 22 and 398 thousandths. Remember, to add or subtract decimal numbers, here are the steps to follow. First, write the decimals in column form. Do not forget to align the decimal points and the digits according to their place value. Second, add or subtract the digits belonging to the same decimal place. And lastly, write the decimal point in the sum or difference of the given numbers. Let us have some practice on what you've learned in this video. Find the sum of 1 and 23 hundredths and 2 and 3 hundredths. The correct answer is 3 and 26 hundredths. Find the sum of 4 and 79 hundredths and 5 and 36 hundredths. The correct answer is 10 and 15 hundredths. Find the difference between 14 and 793 thousandths and 9 and 24 hundredths. The correct answer is 5 and 553 thousandths. Subtract 3 and 702 thousandths from 8 and 213 thousandths. The correct answer is 4 and 511 thousandths. And for the last item, find the sum of 6 and 32 hundredths and 5 and 963 thousandths. The correct answer is 12 and 283 thousandths.
Did you enjoy the lesson? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell on this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye!